Analog tools that make us happy give us an extra boost of inspiration to make our creative projects a bit more exciting. Holding a pen in your hand in your favorite color and pairing it with an ink color you love just makes it all the more enjoyable. When we first discovered the Coco Eero letter pens, we were immediately drawn to the lovely colors and customizable ink features. Of course, the best part of this pen is that you can have the convenience of brush lettering right at your fingertips and on the go. It's perfect for adding an elegant but bold touch to any creative project such as journaling, planning, or snail mail, just to name a few. Some of you are probably thinking, this pen looks cool, but it's really intimidating for me. It can seem that way at first, but once you get the basic and simple strokes down, you'll wonder why it took you so long to try a brush pen. Let's walk through some steps together and in no time you'll be writing with ease. The Coco Euro brush tip is perfect for novices of brush lettering because of the hard tip. It provides better control when you are first starting out. The brush tip will eventually become more flexible as you use it. However, I like to prime the tip just a bit before I use it for the very first time. To prime the tip, all you need to do is get a piece of scrap paper and very gently press down on the tip from all sides a few times and you're ready to go. Once it's primed, let's go through some basic warm-up exercises. The two strokes in brush lettering consist of thick and thin lines. First, let's practice making some thick lines. Usually, paper with some kind of line guide works well when you are first starting out. You can use grid, lined, whichever one you like. To create the thick stroke, all you need to do is apply pressure at an angle. You can practice doing thick straight lines and also slanted thick ones. Keep making these strokes until you feel pretty confident with the stroke. The harder you press, the thicker the stroke will be. The thin stroke is generally made using an upward motion and applying very light pressure to the page. Like we did before, you'll want to make some straight and slanted thin strokes. Once you feel that you can make both strokes with ease, we are going to combine the two strokes to form letters. It's a good idea to start off by writing with alphabet. As you form the letters, keep this in your mind. Down strokes thick, up strokes thin. Down strokes thick, up strokes thin. As you get acquainted with writing out the alphabet, you can start to write out words and sentences. People often want to refer to a letter or alphabet guide, but I find that using your own handwriting makes for a more creative and one-of-a-kind composition. Once you've become acquainted with the feel of the pen's tip, you can explore further by putting different amounts of pressure to create the stroke formations of your choice. You can make your own rules by mixing the upwards and downwards strokes that feels right to your handwriting. We hope that you love this lettering pen as much as we do and have fun designing letter forms from your imagination.